Um, now, <clears throat> uh, we looked at sigma notation before, which is sort of off on a tangent. Okay, uh, we're going to come back to what we were looking at earlier, which is arithmetic progressions, uh, not to be confused with arithmetic. Arithmetic is the noun. Like, I'm good at arithmetic, right? Whereas arithmetic is the adjective, so it's a, it's a descriptive word, right? So those were arithmetic sequences before, or progressions. And in an AP, so for short, each successive term, what, what, how do you get from one term to another? Um, you're adding something or you're subtracting something, right? and it's a constant. So we say each successive term has a common difference, right? That's why we call it D. Okay, so GPs take this idea and they just modify it just a little, okay? So instead of adding or subtracting a constant, um, the idea in a GP is rather than additional subtraction, multiplication or division, right? So each successive term, so this is, this is you, each successive term in a GP, rather than having a common difference, has a common ratio. Ratio, right? So, for instance, uh, so far we've been thinking about, say, the even numbers, okay? Um, and those are, um, they're getting bigger by 2 every time, right? Well, if we multiply by 2 every time, what kind of series would we get, right? Well, for example, you can start at 1. Actually, you can start anywhere you'd like, right? But if I multiply by 2 to get each successive term, I'll get 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, and so on, right? Um, suppose we could write this as, you know, uh, 1 times 2 to the power of 0, right? Because that's just the first term, so there's no 2 in there. The next one would be uh, the first term, again, I have to start from there, and then I multiply it by 1 lot of the common ratio. So 2 to the power of 1, hence 2. And then the next one would be 1 times 2 squared. And you get the idea. Okay? So, like we said before, we call the common difference D. Okay. So, I suppose it makes sense to call the common ratio R. R. I don't know how well it picks you up because the facing... Anyway. Okay, so, do you remember, uh, we said before, generally speaking, an AP, if we were to um, name its first term A, right? It would be A plus um, A plus D, there's the first one, and then... A plus 2D, there's the next one, and so on, right? Okay, so because we're multiplying and not adding in a GP, um, the first term will still be A. We're still calling it whatever, right? whatever starting point one. The next one won't be A plus, it'll be A times your ratio, right? Yeah. And then the next one will be A times the ratio times the ratio again. So AR squared, and so on. Okay. So again, reviewing, you remember, the nth term of an AP, the nth term, was the first term plus how many lots of the common difference? If it's the nth term. Uh, it would be n minus 1 lots, right? So in just the same way, for a GP, right, um, the nth term will be the first term times how many lots of the common ratio? Just like before, n minus 1 lots, right? And uh, that's how you can see uh, the first term has no lots of r, 0 lots. The second term has 1 lot. The third term has 2 lots. So that's where that n minus 1 is appearing. Okay? So um, we, we use this idea to come up with, well, what's the sum of the first n terms, right? And the way we did it was we paired them up. So if there are n terms, there will be n on 2 pairs, okay? And then when we simplify, we, we had this. Okay, so we took advantage of the pairing thing to make that happen. So you can imagine what I'm going to pose next to you. Uh, if, if this is the way an arithmetic progression works, how does a geometric one work? How would you work out the sum of a geometric series? Or how would you work out what the geometric series evaluates to? Uh, I'll give you a tip. The, the pairing up thing doesn't quite work the same way. Okay? So I'm going to let you guys have a think about it uh, and see 
how, how would you work this out? Do you play around with the number of turns um, in a geometric progression and see what you can come up with for some of the first n turns? Is it a trick to other bit? 